Hello everyone, this is Diffim, bringing you an episode of Jack of the Lions 2. Last time we made our party, or team, technical team. And now we shall enter the actual game. Some help tooltips. I'll let you read, you can pause whenever. Explain these things as we go along, as they become relevant. Yeah, this is just general information. So we enter by helicopter to a better time. Don't look like we were spotted coming in. Now we gotta find this Miguel guy. Miguel guy indeed. Barry comes second, then he bums. Jumps down. Exists in region. So, uh, mortal tips. Again, pause whenever you want. Keyboard shortcuts to do. In a tactical view, I rarely use keyboard shortcuts, but that's personal preference. Anyway, um, let me try to organize this as best as I can. It's just personal preference again. Worth having things in easily, easily recognizable places. Also, let's read a mail while you know our people are in on the ground in the murder. Paused until I decide to move them. <laughs> but yeah, this section is Understood. real time, and then it goes into turn based whenever you see an enemy. Ah, back to it. stealth, stealth mode, which yes. means... We have some incon- It's not gonna fit out of myself, I've seen that. So therefore it's gone into turn-based mode. Yes! Every turn you get a certain amount of action points, which you can use to either shoot, move, or some certain other actions like reloading, etc. Now, moving stealth takes a lot longer than moving otherwise. But it's also a lot quieter. Which means you can sneak up to enemies with a good enough person you can sneak up to right behind them, basically. And knife them back. Ah. Like Igor. Igor could potentially do that. You have my attention. Okay. Yes. 
So that's enemy spell. Ten meters away, a bit more maybe. So that's shoot. He's very he's building a pistol. Standing by. Okay. The question is, how should we do this? You have my attention. Yes. I don't think he's seen this yet. Otherwise, he'd be pointing his pistol at us. So let's take everyone off stealth mode. Let's try to get a decent angle and also be in range. Pistols have an atrocious range. 13. That represents the amount of tiles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And it's slightly out of range. So if I move in 2 tiles closer, I'll be in range. Which is important because. If you're out of range, you get a very significant to hit penalty. I'd prefer to be in cover, because cover is very important in this game. It means you're less likely to get hit. And, yeah, that's a good thing. But, in this case, there is no cover around. Okay, now he saw us and he's reacted. And basically whenever you shoot, you can either do a snapshot, which is just hitting, just that. It's unlikely to hit, especially this range. But if you need to get a few quick shots off, and a very short range, that could work. Then you can add aiming limits. Basically, allow you to take time to aim. There's a limit. After this point, it will no longer be helpful to aim. You just aimed as long as you could, feasibly. So, let's take a shot and hope it hits. Connects, dealing 31 damage. Good. I can't see its health, his health because. It's hidden behind that. Standing by. It's top of the map. It's a range on the Beretta. 12. It's actually lower than Smith and West. But, it has a good advantage. It's faster. See, with Barry, it was 13 to do a full aim shot. With Diffim, it's 11 with the Beretta. And he deals a clean blow. Alright! You have my attention. Dr. Q. His marksmanship is the worst by a significant margin. Yes. Funds has the best. You have my attention. Dr. Q will be taking point in the oh. building, I think. Yes. Intruders. Oh. I do not want to get into a prolonged firefight here. Because I'm out of range, I can't feasibly get in range and take a good shot. Or two good shots. So I'll hide behind cover for now. You have my attention. That's Q. Yes. You have my attention. Aim here. Ah. And Igor will do the same. Standing by. If him, should look more that way. To intercept anyone that's coming through there. Yes. And I did not hurt something. So, whenever it's the enemy's turn, you can get an interrupt if you see them before they can react to you. Same is true if, if you're, it's your turn, they can interrupt you if you go in and you're ambushed. The chance of you ambushing and preventing yourself from getting ambushed depends on several factors, including your level, agility, and I think dexterity. And obviously, 
things like terrain, visibility, and if the enemy was expecting you, how many action points they have, things like that. Let's take Q and shoot him. Because Q is a terrible marksman. Let's fire. Take a name shot. Excellent. Very excellent indeed. One shot killer. You have my attention. You have my attention. We have not read this. I definitely heard. So southwest movement. Ah, we have been shot. Ah, that's an eagle that takes some glory. For some reason he's crouching, but never. Let's take a second shot. The enemy is caught. Something useful. I found a Colt. Colt's Colt 45 is not too bad a weapon. For, more importantly, I found a first aid kit, of which I only have currently yes. one. First aid kits allow you to bandage wounds whenever you get them, which you hopefully should. Something yes. stirs just beyond. It's more like people coming from the southwest. Unfortunate. It's walking in through there. So he saw it through the door, through the way, through the window. <sighs> and he got knocked back with the stopping power of the Royal Beretta, the Knight 2F. I don't know. Sure, whatever. You have my attention. We have not read this sphere up. I definitely so heard something. Ah. This seems a bit cheap, doesn't it? But then again, there are more of them than us. And... Yeah, they'll be better armed for at least a little while. Or at least until the mid-game. You have my attention. Let's keep giving him experience. Let's do that. Lance already roll. knows how to shoot and how to extend. And basically your accuracy is dependent on marksmanship, dexterity and level. You have my attention. So as you can see, dexterity is not too bad for most of my guys. Marksmanship, a bit less. So you have level, my attention. Level 1, level 2, level 3. You Which have my attention. Our work. Somewhat unspectacular. So, I think I've killed four people. Maybe five. So let's save. That was a previous recording which failed. And we're back. Sorry, there's a distraction happening. Standing by. As usual. Understood. Let's move out. Yes. Have my attention. Understood. Understood. Standing by. I know pretty much where the enemy is because I've played this bit before, so I might as well use the knowledge I have to my advantage, shall I? It'd be silly not to. He's in range, might as well shoot him. A little bit. Yes. Yes. Somebody left something behind. There we go. That That's there. Friendly one. Good. Everyone's oh, there placed in the netherworld, where they all Standing belong. Gotcha. Is that valuable? That's an MP5K. Gotcha. A pretty amazing weapon for the start of the game. Understood. Not gonna lie. Understood. Now let's search all the buildings. Yes. Understood. It's not going to be very yes. much. Understood. You have my attention. Every little bit okay. counts right now. Every Good. little bit. Standing by. Understood. Any first yes. aid kits Correct. that I can find? Yes. At some point, I might stop you have my doing attention. this sort of search. Yes. What lies there? 
but that will be much later in the game when I'm rich enough to not get as so much. Why cutters and a crowbar. Okay. Two incredibly yes. important items. Right, son. Yes. Understand. Huh. Door, yes. Nothing there. Standing by. Okay. Gotcha. Object. Nothing there. You go found something. Huh. I don't know. We'll see. Yes. Standing by. Understood. You have my attention. What's there? Okay. What did they Standing find? By. Oh, what could they call 45? Another one, eh? <laughs> classic, classic yes, weapon. Understand. Ah, yes. It's not a bad weapon. Not gonna lie. Okay. Now, the oh, person we need to speak Standing to here. By. Understood. Before we do that, let's check the inventory. That's the tactical screen. We see all the towns. You see all the places we've explored. It's slightly lighter. You see, you see where we are. You, see, you will see where the enemy is. This will show you the mines and how much they're producing, if anything. Now we have getting nothing, as you can see by our income. Militia. That'll become relevant later on. Airspace and no, sorry, items in a certain sector. So we found a first aid kit. Excellent. Let's give that to Dr. Q, our best medic. Why got us to different as our leader? And the MP5K. One of the best early game game weapons. Definitely have a lot of respect for that. That's actually what you start with if you are marksmanship. If you start with a marksmanship of 85, but oh well. Generally, I want to do away with revolvers in this game because they're too slow. They're powerful, but they're also notoriously slow. So we can give the, one of the Colts to Barry. Although we don't have very much ammo for it. So we'll give him this as his backup weapon. Also, this is slightly broken. And whenever a gun is slightly broken, or more broken, it can jam. Jamming is very bad, as you can probably imagine. Buns will keep her weapon. Get an extra clip or magazine, however you want to call it. He will also keep his weapon. Ivor will get the Beretta. And truly no more. Mistakes. And there's another clip there. Colt. Might as well give it her in case we find more armor for it. And if you throw knives, let's give them to Dr. Q. Purbar, let's give that to Igor. Canteen, let's give that to him as well. And the flak jacket. Again, to Igor. Because he does not have one. So, this be yes. interesting. Standing by, gotcha. Here. And talk to this fair lady. Understood. Why are you here? You could say that's rude, but then again, you have to understand where she's coming from. She's in a rebel place. That's been oppressed by a dictator. You know, the usual stuff. So, she has reason to suspect anyone that comes in. Especially with guns. 
so let's be friendly. How could it be that you were sent by Enrico? He has been dead for more than 10 years. Perhaps he has been dead for that long, but... You want me to believe that you are working for a dead man? I would suggest that you leave Omerta before you, yourself, become one. Okay, she didn't like us very much. Perhaps let's give her let's show her the letter. It says to give it to Miguel, but perhaps Fatima can tell me where Miguel is. Hmm. A letter from Enrico Chevaldori. He has not forgotten us. Very few people are aware that he's alive. As far as most of the people in Auruco are concerned, he was murdered over a decade ago. We had given up hope of ever hearing from Enrico again. Who would believe that someone living in the comforts of exile would care about this dismal country? Very well then. Follow me. Do not make any quick moves. Miguel's men will be nervous. You do not wish to intimidate them. The Drana has brutally bombed and attacked us for over two straight months. Now that we have everything that we got from here, that we want to do it. Let's follow her to the base. With our motley crew of stuff, of people. And let's keep following her through the sector. Voices will get really annoying when they throughout the course of the game. Yeah, you'll probably hate them. I find them to be charming for some reason. Even after years of playing this game. Years of hearing it. Why have you brought them here? Have you lost your mind, woman? You bring death to all of us. They have been sent by Enrico Civaldori. They're here to help us, Dimitri. They must speak with Miguel. I would never bring them here without proof of this. In respect of your husband, I take your word. We will go down. But if you make mistake, Fatima, you will die with them. Stern gentlemen, but again, they have a reason to suspect us. You're mercenaries, we could be bo already bought. Do not move, and no one will die. Fatima say they are here to help us. She say she have proof, Carlos. Enrico has enlisted mercenaries to aid us in the struggle. I have a letter addressed to Miguel. It is signed by Enrico himself and contains details of the night we helped him flee Enrico. Details only he would know. Enrico? Chilvatori? Most suspicious. I question his reasons. I do not. Let me see this letter. Here. And is Iris still pointing? Hmm, it be true. Enrico has sent men to help us. On behalf of my rebel force and the people of Arulco, I welcome you. We are very much in need of your aid. Dijana wishes to remove Omerta from the map of this country. She is evil, a driven bitch. That will do, Iris. I am sure our friends have heard of her nature. If not, they will know soon enough. We are ready to undertake task at hand. I have lost over 30 men in the last month. My force is down to the people you see here. But I do have a few trusted people living in the Arulco countryside. The people of Arulco would overthrow Didana with pleasure, but they live in fear of her, and rightfully so. She be heartless and brutal. She has robbed our country of its money and its soul. Getting their confidence be our biggest problem. 
The people must feel we are capable of defeating her. Yet, without their support, we cannot. We are missing soldiers and equipment. You could not have come at a better time. We are short of food too, Miguel. We need safe passage to Drazen, or more people will die. Yes. Carlos be my close advisor. He is right. He usually be right. Making a safe route to Drazen to get supplies be a priority. If you can remove Deedmanus forces from your path, there is a priest in Drazen named Father Walker. He be a drunk of poor judgment. However, he will be sympathetic to our situation. Find him, and tell him no more than you need to. I will send others to fetch the supplies he will gather. I wish you luck, and express my gratitude. So Miguel seems to be a reasonable gentleman. He has realized our cause. Well, he's realized that we're, our cause is to help his cause. And that is a good thing. We do not want to be fighting the rebels and the Dren at the same time. Even though the rebels are severely depleted. I have faith in us. Let's see if we can recruit anyone from the rebel forces. It does not seem right at this moment. Hmm. I can spare Ira. She is quick learner and knows the priest well. I believe he might even have some passion for her. <laughs> Excuse me. What can I do for you? Carlos. Miguel second. Very skilled fighter. Pretty useful. Very paranoid, if you didn't notice earlier. But... He has to be able to protect me again. Our people are suffering in hunger. You must do something. He cannot continue without the loss of more life. See if we can recruit him, be cheeky. The time is not right. I am needed in Omerta. Fair enough. Let's speak with Dimitri. Yes? I do not know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's a bit dumb. He's just a normal foot soldier, he's guard. Let's talk to Ira. I'm Ira. I came to Oroko five years ago as part of an effort to supply humanitarian aid. I soon realized the only aid they needed was in getting rid of Deidreana, by whichever means possible. Let's talk to Miguel's Rebel, rebel Force has been together for almost two decades. They are trustworthy and loyal. They will accept you as one of their own as long as you do no harm. Fair enough. The Rebel Force is a dedicated one. Unfortunately, there are only a few of us left. That's great. Huh? All right. I could be of help with some of the ins and outs of this country and its people. But I must tell you, I'm not a professional like you guys. I'm afraid my marksmanship is a little weak for a soldier. Miguel used me mostly as a medic and a lookout. Anyways, I'm sure we'll make out okay. Let's get going. I'll lead the way. Fair enough, lady. So, Ira. You got my ear. Look at her stats. Yes, marksmanship is terrible, but she has good dexterity, decent agility, poor strength, but that's not that much of an issue generally. Wisdom's good, so potentially we could train her up to be a good all-round soldier. She's on to the Smith & Wesson and a Merkit, which hopefully we won't make, need too much. Hmm. Yeah, we found TNT. Hmm. And some ammunition. She's also going to be useful in giving us general info about any important sector that we enter. So, I'll be ready for our line nicely for this, so, at least initially. Also, one of the best things is that she's good at teaching. Which will come in very useful very shortly. But for now, this is a bit different. Adios, this is Virginia, a in, and goodbye.